I will show you how to prepare a, a quick exploration of a dataset. Exploratory data analysis is the first step that we take when we have a dataset and we want to figure out the basic dimensions. For example, how many uh, cases we have, uh, what happens with the extreme values, uh, what is the average value of some numerical variable, and so on. So, uh, assuming that we have collected those data here from a number of students who attend or have already attended uh, college, and as you can see, we have collected the birthday, the birth, the year of their uh, birth, the registration year, the year that they attend, and scores in some core topics, English, mathematics, writing, reading. Uh, as you can see, if we scroll down, we have uh, 200 or 199 cases. Well, it's not very easy to uh, have a look on all of them, so let's begin with a quick exploration. Suppose that we want to have a, a, a quick look on the mathematics variable. So, we select from the Analyze menu, Descriptive Statistics, Explore. From this window, we have the option to select the variable that we want to include in this analysis. Suppose that we want the mathematics and we place that into the dependent list box. And from this side, we can select the statistics that we want to calculate, the plots, and some other formatting options. Let's focus a little bit on the statistics. We can have the descriptives, the mean, mode, median, the basic statistic uh, measures, or we can also include outliers, percentiles, and M estimators. Let's focus a little bit on the descriptives. If we press continue, we have the option to either include all the values or group them by some factor list, for example, the gender or the discipline. But let's take it uh, as a whole. And we can display either the statistics, the measurements, or plots, or both. If we press the OK button, we see that we have a table that summarizes the number of cases if we have a missing a missing value or some missing values and the total values as you can see here the total number of observations is 200 but we have a missing case which means that for the mathematics there is some missing value at some case and this is why as you can see here that the, the last row looks like there is a missing value. And this has happened because in our uh, Excel file that we use to import the data, it was indicated that there is an extra row, an extra case that is not included. So in the descriptives table, we have all the numbers, all the uh, statistics that have been calculated, including the mean, the arithmetic mean, and you can see the value and the standard error of the mean. So the, the average score in mathematics is 63.03. We can also see the 95 confidence interval for the mean. So we have uh, 95 confidence that the average, the arithmetic mean, will be included between 60 and 65. If we exclude the 5% outliers, then we calculate the new value for the mean, the value for the median, for the variance and standard deviation, the minimum value in our data set. So we see that the lowest score was 27 and the highest score was 109. Maybe it was a wrong, uh, we, we do not expect a, a score higher than 100, but it looks like that we have something uh, that we need to explore further and this is why it's necessary to proceed to exploratory data analysis before any further analysis to see whether we have extreme outliers whether we have some errors there might be some error in data entry and so on 
the interquartile range here, Q3 uh, take out Q1, quartile 1, the skewness and kurtosis uh, measurements, uh, coefficients. So we see that it's not, uh, they're close to zero. So we expect uh, the distribution, the shape of the distribution to be uh, close to uh, symmetric one. And if we go a little bit further, we see that uh, we have generated a stem and leaf plot that shows the shape of the distribution. In our case, uh, it's important to read the key here that the width of the stems is 10 and every leaf is one case. From that shape, we see, we can see that at the first sight, uh, the shape of the distribution looks like symmetric and uh, resembles to a normal distribution, but we need to proceed to further analysis. So, this is a first step on exploratory data analysis for a numeric variable. Thank you very much.